Hello viewers, this is ER, and today we are going to be talking about the confirmed assault rifles for Modern Warfare 3, and we're going to be taking a look at the list of them, taken from charlieintel.com. Now, let's talk about the M4A1 assault rifle. As you can see, it is unlocked at weapon level 31. It is a fully automatic, all-purpose weapon. Now, about the M4A1 assault rifle, it is used all around the world as uh, the military's... Um, main assault rifle including the United States military also uses them as their you know primary rifle um, it shoots a 223 or a 556 millimeter round which is proven to be you know not the most powerful round in the world but it so happens to be very accurate and um, same thing goes for the M16A4 which is also unlocked at weapon level 31 basically it's a uh, three round burst version of the M4 assault rifle it also shoots this the very same uh, caliber round the 556 millimeter or the 223 round sure uh, it may not be the most powerful assault rifle in the world but its accuracy uh, makes up for it it makes up for the lack of power now what about the scar element that's one of my all-time favorite assault rifles simply because it's its performance is actually really remarkable and it's just a very gorgeous gun I mean it's just just really good looking. It's a very handsome thing, you know. A very nice machine. I mean, it's a it's a, it's a brilliant piece of machinery. And uh, this rifle is uh, it can be used. The 7.62 is compatible with this rifle. So in some instances, it, it is more powerful than the M16 and M4, which only can go up to a 5.56. Even there are other variations of these. Uh, two rifles that can be used to shoot bigger rounds. Now, let's talk about the CM901, which is another one of those M4 type rifles. This one has been tested out. Um, you know, it, it comes in so many different calibers. It has been shot with the 308 before, so it should do a bit more damage than uh, the regular M4A1, M16A4 rifles. It's a uh, it's a very good gun from what I hear in real life. I mean, and it, let's be honest, it kind of looks better than the M4 with that stock, doesn't it? it? It's just my opinion. I mean, you guys, you know, you know, feel free to leave comments. Uh, you know, feel free to um, tell us what your opinion is, you know. Well, what do you like? What do you prefer, the M4, the CM901, the M16? What do you like? What do you like? Tell us. Now, let's talk about the Type 95, and uh, first we're going to start off by saying that this one's a bit different, you know, from the rest of the assault rifles I have mentioned. Um, unlike the other assault rifles, which are, you know, European and mostly American, this one comes from the Far East. This, one's come, this one comes from China, and uh, I have no clue how it's pronounced. It's actually called the... King Bu Kiang Zedong QBZ 95 light rifle family. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and like the M16, M4, and the SCAR, it also shoots a 5.56 millimeter round. There are a few variations uh, between this rifle. They do the uh, they um, differentiate between weight length and barrel length and cartridge. Now the specifications for the QBZ 95B carbine it's 6.4 pounds. The QBZ 95 rifle is 7.2 pounds. The QBZ 97 export 7.4 pounds. The QBB 95 LSW is 8.6 pounds, and uh, they also get longer as well uh, going down that list and the same thing goes for that barrel length now the cartridge they shoot is a 5.56.45 millimeter NATO the QBZ 97 shoots that round and the cartridge shot by the QBZ 95 is a 5.8 by 42 millimeter DPB 87 round now, the rate of fire for this thing in real life, by the way, this is real specifications. This is taken uh, 
from a reliable source. It shoots 650 rounds per minute, the QBZ-95, and the 95B carbine is 800 rounds per minute, so there is quite a bit of a difference. Now let's talk about another one of my all-time favorite assault rifles. It's also Alex's number one favorite gun of all time, and uh, this one comes from Germany. This is the G36C. This, like the Type 95, is unlocked at weapon level 1. And uh, this one is also unlocked at captain level 42. And uh, to be very honest, I really love this rifle as much as I do the SCAR. It's just a wonderful piece of machinery. It's It was just simply one of the best rifles in Call of Duty 4. I mean... What I used to use with it, and uh, so did my friend, we used to use the silencer on it, and uh, which was proven to be very, very, very effective in, uh, in any, you know, type of combat, close quarter combat, you know, range combat, you know, it really didn't matter because the iron sight, it did do quite the job as well. It's a fantastic gun, very, very stunning rifle. Next up is the ACR 6.8 by Remington, unlocked at Colonel level 50. Now this one is actually, this one was actually one of the most accurate guns in all of Modern Warfare 2 and all of the, you know, the types of rifles, sniper rifles, submachine guns, light slash heavy machine guns, all those other rifles, all those other guns. This one used to be the top pick for everybody, pro, noob, whichever. It's very versatile. I mean, since it's freaking accurate as hell, you could use it in any type of situation, close quarter combat, range combat. I mean, since it's so low in recoil, I mean, you could use it from a distance as well. Even though the damage isn't so, you know, high, it's not really that powerful of a gun. The accuracy does make up for that uh, by a good amount, and we've seen it in Modern Warfare 2. Next up is the M14 rifle, or the Mark 14. In this game, this one is unlocked at, what is it, General Grade 2? It looks like at level 60. Uh, it has made a feature in a lot of games, not just Call of Duty. It's been... Uh, everywhere in shooters and uh it's done quite a remarkable job at uh you know taking down those taliban you know taking down those enemies you know it's it's a fantastic gun one of the one of the greatest guns i've ever used in all of call of duty you know um this one is more of a semi-automatic sniper rifle type of rifle this one shoots a 762 by 51 NATO round. It's also used in, you know, a lot of sniper rifles used around the world. Kind of like uh, the Scar L. And uh, it's a very, very, very accurate rifle. I mean, it's, it's amazing. However, it does come at a slight disadvantage, you know, and it does falter in the wake of that, of the FAMAS. And by the way, I'm talking about Black Ops. It used to, you know, it always used to falter against the wake of the FAMAS, the 74, the MP5, you know, those guns. However, at range, this thing was the star of the show. One of the all-time greatest rifles. I mean, if you're good enough, you can try to use this thing at, at close quarter combat, but I don't know. I mean, if you probably won't get very far with it in close quarter combat but in range it, you will definitely get your money's worth we are now going to talk about the world's most popular assault rifles or one of the world's most popular assault rifles it was designed back in 1947 i think you have a hint of what we're going to talk about now we are going to talk about that's right my friends we're going to talk about the ak-47 which is unlocked at general level 68 now this particular rifle shoots a round which is uh, different than the 762 used in the Mark 14 and Scarl. This one shoots a 762 by 39 which still packs quite a big punch. In fact, you will most certainly go down in one hit if you ever get hit by this round. The Taliban use this rifle. I mean, I mean they're very, very wise of using it because 
because this is actually one of the most uh, reliable assault rifles in the world as well. Never jams, never malfunctions. It's just ready to go. It's like your best friend, you know? And basically, that's about it for this section of confirmed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 guns. Stay tuned, and we will be talking about other confirmed guns, like submachine guns, sniper rifles, pistols. Also, we will be talking about perks and other features in Bearded Modern Warfare 3 when it drops on November 8th, 2011. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.